Kendall Brown out of Baylor's six foot nine with a six foot ten wingspan. This man is fun over about like 205, 210 pounds. This guy is shooting almost 60% from the field, 59% on the season, 30% from three, I know, 73% from the free throw line, but these guys coming out getting 10 points, about a steal game, half a block, two assists, and five rebounds. And he's fun to watch. I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of lottery pick Kendall Brown? And let's get right into it. And look, I think he's a really good NBA player, has the potential to be a really good NBA player. I think, honestly, they're on NBA Draft Room, they put the comparisons as Gerald Green, Corey Maggett, and a poor man's Jalen Brown. I'd like to say, with his size being six foot nine, he's got you know, very, you know, he's a very similar frame. He's a very sturdy guy, and I think he's an extremely athletic wing with springs in his legs who can be the makings of a future star. And I think he's a guy who reminds me of Troy Brown Jr., Kelly Oubre, but a taller version. And he's a guy that I personally think is a great player, okay? I think he does go in the lines of, you know, Troy Brown Jr., Kelly Oubre. Maybe you could throw those guys into the same line as Miles and Mikhail Bridges, while the you know the floor is Miles Mikhail and the bottom is you know Troy and I don't even know why we're going into this like this, but the thing is this guy's a decent scorer off the dribble and he can post up against smaller players really well and he's a really he's a guy who can't create for himself but he's amazing off ball with catch and shoot scenarios and he's not going to be a primary playmaker but. As a secondary playmaker who can move the ball around in a swing offense, he can do really good things. And he's a great athlete who is a really good guy who does similar Kelly Uber steals, who has a great motor and has a tendency for dunks and playing inside. I know he has a not a great three-point shot. It takes about one, sometimes two three-pointers a game. I think that's something he'll get with confidence. I know he's a 73% free throw shooter, so it'll come with time. And he's reluctant to take them, but with confidence and more practice, we'll get better at that. Again, he's not an elite ball handler, but he can make some passes. So as a guy who can make a pass to the guy who makes the pass to the guy, I think he can do that. And defensively, I think he should be a better shot blocker, but he's still good, okay? I think he can be better. And he's definitely a guy who has an all-around skill set to be a two-way, you know, versatile defender and score from, you know, three or mainly inside. But he needs to become more consistent and be able to handle slash protect the ball better. Okay, he's a versatile prospect with a lot of upside. But the thing is, on the defensive end, he really stands out. He can guard one through four and switch in everything. Okay, and the thing is, his physical profile is great. He's a guy who plays above the rim with a lot of athleticism and explosion. And the thing is, is he's a guy going to catch backdoor lobs and layups. But he needs to get better at finishing. So I want your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of Kendall Brown? Lottery.